guess we'll start. The interior. Uh, it's a 91 black interior. It's a one year only deal for Berettas. Um, I ended up doing some leather reupholstery in the, the seat here and the back um, to match the perforated leather uh, black seats I got out of a Cobalt. Um, these are supposed to be out of Cobalt SS. Uh, but the salvage yard was all screwy. Um, here is the gauge panel that I custom printed on a UV printer. Uh, I'm going to do another video on that because there's a ton of work involved for that. I did the gauge panel, the wideband thing, the uh, HVAC, and the stereo mount. Um, all that stuff is custom. For any day leaving work, it's probably no better time to show this dash stuff. So, all of these panels that I have here, got my little custom SS logo for the focus. There you go. A uh, little picture of the car itself. HVAC. Did the same thing with the wideband. Changed the face of that. Uh, printed it on our UV printer. I'll show a little. Uh, clip of that. And here is the dash itself. Come on, focus. There we go. Um, a little wide open throttle, 3400 in the corner. Let it foot only. Um, made my own little pictograms for the check engine lights and stuff like here's my e-brake light going out um, red LEDs for the whole thing uh, it came out really pretty cool I haven't seen anything like it with anybody else uh, which is kind of what I like having something that uh, is unique the seat belts are also Chevy Cobalt because uh, one of the anchors was built into the seat um, they work amazingly well with the Beretta locations. I uh, had to make, had to use a spacer and a longer bolt back behind the door panel in order to make that part fit. Uh, but it works, works really well. Um, and I love this interior way better than the factory seats. Uh, they're more comfortable. Um, you never could get leather. Uh, and it was pretty, pretty cheap. It was a pain to fabricate. Um, the hook, yeah, you just can't really see them here. The, uh, the hook setup on these in most modern cars, my wife's crew has had the same style. Um, I welded a bar into the floor pan with a couple slots in it to make the front hook work, and then the, the back bolts in normal. Took some half inch, half inch plate and, uh, drilled and tapped and then welded that in, uh, on the floor pan so I had good anchors for the seats themselves. Back seat is also from a Cobalt. Um, I got all the stuff that I needed, hardware to uh, make them fold down. Uh, comes in handy having the the baby seat anchors. Didn't care about that when I put them in, but they're handy now. Um, so I set up one pole by the seat here. The other side, of the pole is in the uh, trunk. Folds down. Here's my shock tower brace. I made a high clearance version. Originally, I had one that uh, uh, went straight across, but you couldn't really put anything through from the front to back. It is handy having that working again. And it looks pretty good. So the shifter is a Breda shifter, um, and I shortened the stick on it. I didn't actually change the throw on the bottom side, so it's a it's a short stick, not really a short throw shifter. Um, and I put a, uh, T56 Camaro hearse knob on it. That was something I had laying around from my, uh, T56 swap in my Camaro. Um, so I repurposed that for the Beretta. They also had an accordion boot from the factory. Um, and, uh, I just had a little leather one made up. It was a little DIY deal. Uh, I think that's an IROC Camaro, uh, e-brake handle. That's also leather. The steering wheel, leather steering wheel is from a, like aluminum Z34 
which looks a hundred times better than the Beretta steering wheel. Um, but uh, that's kind of what I did to tie all the all the leather stuff together uh, in the interior because Beretta's never had any any leather at all. Oh, I even I even did some oh shit handles, uh, which were dual purpose. They're there to be oh shit handles, and they're also to hold the headliner up because the headliner in this car was trash, uh, and to make a non sunroof headliner work in a sunroof car. Uh, was kind of a nightmare and uh, the oh shit handles that I have there help uh, make everything work and the shift light on this thing if you look really close you might be able to figure out what it is uh, it's a motorcycle turn signal I got a couple of them I think it was a pair of two for like eight bucks on Amazon uh, and it's controlled by the factory ECM so the ECM has a shift light on the dash now this is my custom dash here so you can see like my temperature that's my check engine lights the next one then that third one is the shift light um, and originally I tried to put an LED like a really bright LED in here to use as my shift light It'd be kind of a stealth shift light um, but I couldn't get an LED and a resistor and everything to work inside one of those little 194 uh, container jobs so I looked at actual shift lights and they're pricey these things were super cheap and i found in the wiring uh pin out the output for the shift light itself to the gauge cluster uh wired that in to this thing and uh set the tune i got rid of all the mile per gallon shift light stuff that's originally what they were for um and i just set it at like 6300 rpm so the only time the shift light will come on is at 6300 I think is what I have it set for 6200 or 6300 I think I got my rev limiter at 64 and this is 63 um, but uh, it's a nice cheap way to do it uh, and it, it works mint speaking of my OBD1 tuning this is the auto prom um, this is my input for the data logging on the wideband for the 0 to 5 volt um, hook up to the laptop here and hook up to the car um, and uh, you can emulate straight from the auto prom I ended up burning chips for it because I found with the emulation cable I was getting feedback and it would actually cut out on me at uh, wide open throttle sometimes because uh, there was EMI interference so I just burned chips every time I made a change which is sort of a pain but it's not the end of the world uh, that little adapter means you can just throw the whole prom uh, assembly on there and do it rather than popping the chip out of the prom every time but uh, this auto prom in conjunction with tuner pro and the information from gearhead and uh, originally it was v6 z24 I got some information from too on the uh, 3.15 speed stuff um, got it uh, got it dialed in and it does run mint now <laughs>